Right guys, I hope you can hear me with all this wind. I'm in the beautiful Peak District. I'm just uh, on my way up to Kerber Edge. Baslow Edge is over that way, I'm going, but I'm going up Kerber Edge and then onto Frogger Edge. And I'm hoping to get some decent sunset shots. En route, I'm going to talk about how I get pin sharp photographs with my camera. My camera is a Fuji X-T4, but I, th I think it's going to apply to a lot of uh, the later cameras. Some of the features there really helped me get pin sharp photographs. I did struggle for a while when I, when I started photography. My eyes are not that great because I wear glasses and all that sort of stuff. I'm getting on a bit. <laughs> uh, but some of the features on the, the Fuji really helped me get pin sharp, make it really easy. And I'm going to share those with you as we go up Kerber Edge. go to the, the Lake District and I think there's you know you've got the mountains you've got the higher peaks but I have to say I thought I'd come here I was really looking forward to coming to the Peak District to this Kerber Edge and I, but I thought I might you know I thought I might get some nice photographs but I might struggle a bit you know because when you go to a lake sometimes you've got the Grand Vista and it, it's fairly obvious what to take a photograph of not always but sometimes and but here it is just wherever you look I mean it's just so beautiful it's amazing I mean I'm seeing it now it's uh, about eight o'clock so there's a little bit of time left to go to sunset but yeah I just can't believe how beautiful it is it's absolutely stunning absolutely beautiful gorgeous light I'm going to come back in a few weeks actually because I was talking to a couple and they were saying the heavy, you know, the heather's out, but in a couple of weeks, August time, it's going to be really purple, it's going to be really in bloom, and this place is just going to look fantastic. You come in and got light light tonight, it would be unbelievable. And I'm going to be here, I'm going to come. I'm just, I, you know, to, I left the car, car park hours ago, I think it was about three o'clock. I could walk back to the car park in 10, 15 minutes. Just, just not, kept stopping all the time, looking at things, weighing things up. And I thought I'd struggle to get some compositions, but no, where, where I hope you can see me there. Wherever you turn, there's things to look at and think about taking a photograph and try and get into a composition. And that's one of the problems, to be honest. Uh, but even on the, hill, the, the hillside, on the horizon you've got these little trees and just dotted around they're not you know they're spread out so picturesque so you know i mean it looks like someone's made a little landscape like toy landscape and put the little trees and spread them out perfectly arrange them it's just fantastic really enjoying it really loving it i'm gonna come Yeah, that just looks gorgeous. <laughs> Rolling hills with like little trees dotted around. I mean, it just looks like a work of art, doesn't it? Uh, it's 
all, all over. Wait. This is an opportunity to just get the most out of uh, my long lens. <laughs> Even those on the horizon there, they've got like these, they just have these, like, I don't know, what it, what is it? A coppice or something of trees. It just looks amazing. I think that's the right word. But, wow. Yeah, if you get up in the Peak District and just look on the, get up high and look on the horizon and you've got a long lens, it really is fabulous. Look at that, look at that there. Nice bit of contrast with the colour as well, different coloured fields. Very nice. Right, I hope you can see this shot that I've got uh, composed. It's all the rainbows disappearing. <laughs> There's a bit of a rainbow there in the sky. Maybe you can't see it. I'll just darken it down a bit, actually. Uh, maybe you can see the sky better. Let's just move that there. Right, I hope you can see this shot. It's got a, got a bit of a rainbow there, but it is, I think it's just going, actually, the rainbow. Uh, but yeah. So how do I get my images sharp? So I've got my camera in manual focus, but uh, with this Fuji and I suppose lots of other cameras, uh, you can set it for manual focus assist. So it's in manual focus, but I still got the, the option of using my auto focus. And the way I do that is if I just, uh, just move my focus point and say, let's say I want to focus there. I do that, you hear that beep. So I'm using my back button to focus. The shutter button doesn't do anything really. Yeah, unless I press it all the way and I'm gonna take a shot. So that's great, that. I've, I've assigned, I've taken uh, what you usually have on your shutter button. You have two functions. You have focus and then take a shot. Landscape photography, typically we don't want that. We don't want, to have, we don't want it to keep refocusing every time we take a shot. I want to get my focus, get it sorted, and then I know I've got that, and I might need, want to take another shot, but I don't want to change focus. The only way I'm going to change focus is if I press the back button, I decide I want to change focus like that. The other thing is, I'm not very confident that that is fully fo that is properly focused, because, you know, it, auto focus, it's really good, gets you there, but does it get you, you know, does it get you, 100% it's not always 100% accurate it's just an algorithm it's just a machine so on the Fuji what I've got here if I zoom in it automatically zooms in and then because I'm in manual focus mode can you see the highlights there the yellow highlights I've got the focus peaking set on and so that tells me that I can see this rock here it's got that yellow fringe around it it's in focus now, if, if I was taking this shot myself, I wouldn't really be using the LCD, I'd be using the EVF, I'd be using the electronic viewfinder. Uh, you know, I wear glasses, my eyesight's not that great, but I can see the focus peaking, I'm confident I'm gonna get a sharp focus, I'm gonna get a really pin sharp shot. So, uh, let me just sort out. Better take the shot and get the Actually, what's going on there? Let's focus on the 
that's the focus about a third of the way in there so let's focus there let's just double check the focus there and that looks better than what the autofocus did and now we're going to take the shot when it wants to press the button that is that looks a bit dark but I'm pretty confident that that is going to be in focus.